was a beautiful fall weekend. Alice and I went to Lake Cumberland actually on Friday. It was oh. chilly, but gorgeous nonetheless. Yes, it was absolutely gorgeous all weekend long. I mean, just a perfect weekend to be outside, especially on the lake. I'm sure that was absolutely beautiful. Oh, it was. It was beautiful. You needed your jacket with you, but yeah. it, you couldn't help but see the beautiful changing yeah, of I colors the on the foliage. lake. Yeah. It was great. Oh my goodness. Well, we're getting a good picture of what's going outside in Floyd County right now at Stonecrest. You can see there, sun looks like it's about to start setting and it will start setting within about the next 30 minutes or so right before seven o'clock is when it's supposed to go down just absolutely gorgeous clear skies and we're going to stick with these gorgeous clear skies throughout the rest of the week as well because we have a high pressure system that is sitting right over the Ohio Valley right now and it's just going to continue to just slowly creep east throughout the next couple of days just keeping our skies nice and clear now you may notice this blue though that is just highlighting which areas throughout the eastern Kentucky are going to be under this freeze warning that is going to go into effect at 3 a.m. tonight lasting until tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and you can see it's pretty much all of our counties in eastern Kentucky just a couple of counties in Virginia that are not included in there but we do have that going into effect tonight although Skies are nice and clear. We're not seeing any rain chances in our forecast, but temperatures right now, they're on the mild side, lower 50s to mid 50s for some, 54 for London, 54 for Harlan as well, 46 degrees over in Wise. And I tell you what, these temperatures are just going to keep on dropping throughout the next couple of hours, but a gorgeous view of what's going on outside of some of our weather cams, especially over in Jackson. You can just see over the mountains. They're absolutely beautiful, beautiful and wise as well. And of course, over in Corbin and Jenkins as well. Now over the night tonight, our skies are going to remain nice and clear, which is going to allow for our temperatures to drop right at or below freezing for some of our areas. So it is going to be a cold morning when you're walking out the door and there's going to be some dense fog throughout the area as well. So another morning of patchy fog and some frost on the grounds as well. Now throughout the day tomorrow, our skies are going to continue to stay nice and clear. No clouds coming through the area, maybe a couple by the afternoon, but for the most part, things are going to be gorgeous and clear. And a similar situation on Tuesday. We're looking at nice and clear skies throughout the day Tuesday and a similar situation on Wednesday as well. I tell you what, this seven day forecast is just absolutely gorgeous. No rain chances in the forecast for the next week or so. But as far as tonight goes, it is going to be a rather calm night, but we do have some cold temperatures coming into the forecast tomorrow morning. We're looking at below freezing temperatures. So again, that patchy fog and that frost is expected to be a bit of an issue in the morning. So keep that in mind as you're starting off your work week. But then throughout the morning, that fog will start to clear out. And by the afternoon, temperatures will eventually reach the 50s by lunchtime. So that was about where our high was today with it right around 55 degrees. And we're actually seeing that a couple of hours early tomorrow. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we're only topping out in the lower 60s. So we're seeing a warmer afternoon, especially compared to what we've seen over the past weekend. But actually, when you compare tomorrow's temperatures to the temperatures throughout the week, tomorrow is going to be one of the cooler days that we're going to see. Nothing but clear skies, though, in the next seven days. Just an absolutely gorgeous forecast. Although on Sunday, we do have a bit of game changer. We are going to see a rain chance in the forecast, about a 20% chance of rain right now, so nothing too significant. But we are expecting to see some rain throughout the day on Sunday. But as far as the rest of that forecast goes, like I said, tomorrow is going to be the cooler of the days for of the days to come and then from there we're going to see temperatures just slowly reaching up to the 70s by midweek and our high and our lows are actually only going to be in the 40s for most of the days this week so last one last cold night mm -hmm. ahead of us tonight and then from there just a warming trend is just going to start to take place well that's good to hear thank you so much allison no problem still perfect next in sports the Bengals go to buffalo and win their sixth game of the season keeping them undefeated we will have highlights of a couple of acrobatic touchdowns.